Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Um, this is going to be a general reading um, to get the energy of the Divine Feminine. Um, so this is for Twin Flames and Soulmates. And since this is general reading, it may not resonate with everyone. I do offer personal readings. Um, my information is below and the link to my site, intuitiveenvisions.com uh, um, is there as well. I'm also still running a, a special through the end of July uh, with readings as low as uh, $30. And I'm able to, right now, able to return them within to 24 to 48 hours as of now. Okay, so if you're interested, again, the information is below. So I want to thank you guys that have liked and commented. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you all for subscribing. And um, if you're new watching, if this resonates with you, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, so first I'm going to get a general energy of the Divine Feminine. See what's going on with her. And um, I'm using the Fairy Forest. Um, I think these are oracles. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I'm pretty sure they're oracles. Okay, but they're the Fairy Forest cards. Oh, let me scoot over a little bit so you can see the shuffling. Sorry, there's like a little reflection of the light. Okay, so, and then I'm also going to be using the Fin de Cicla, uh Kipper cards. And I'm going to use the Good Tarot for the general reading. And then to clarify, I'm going to see if I can fix this light a little, little tiny bit. Hopefully that made a difference. I don't know, maybe it did, maybe not. Okay, <laughs> I'm also using the Good Tarot. Uh, for the main reading and then uh, any clarifications I'll be using the Gilded Tarot so let's see what's the energy surrounding the Divine Feminine and we have Initiate number 14 Curiosity Open Warm I'm going to read that really quick from the uh, book but it's pretty like, it's pretty um, just saying that, I feel like it's saying that you're just, you're open, um, you're caring, and um, I'm going to just glance in this book really quick. All right, it says, uh, your energy is unworldly, naive, and unguarded, and you will therefore soon face tests will help you acquire experience and wisdom. When this card appears, know you have an inclination to take risks without thinking of where the road you wish to dart down will lead you. You have a tendency to say and do many things without thinking through the possible impact. You speak the uncomfortable truth as no one can. The lessons you are experiencing are filling your life with richness. You have so much trust and self-belief, but you are not prideful. You are ready to take great chances, and others may even judge you as being about to take crazy risks. You may be contemplating leaving a safe job, about to travel, enter a new relationship wholeheartedly, or make a move in life without having examined all the consequences. You are curious, inquiring, and open-hearted. You are inquisitive, but you are no fool. You are an initiate, or initiate, or I think I'm saying it right, I don't know. <laughs> and you will therefore take risks as you face the unknown. Your next step into the mystery of life will be blessed and you have the courage to now enter the unknown okay so this is basically saying is that you are being tested on this journey so you may have encountered some situations where you may have needed to make a decision even without having all the information present just kind of going on your own intuition and your own thoughts so you're in that energy of just seeing what you know what happens what does life have to offer if you do this or you do that it's just kind of basically saying that you're open and uh you are being tested as well okay so the bottom we have elf struck um enchanted be gilded and inspelled that's just kind of like being in a trance um this could be the energy of someone else could be your divine masculine or you and, and by the way, um, for those new watching, if I say Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So you can be a Divine uh, Feminine and be a male or vice versa. And I do see, say he or she, 
um, or that person. I could be talking about you or the person you're thinking about, okay? So now let's get an energy from the Kipper cards, the main energy, the divine feminine is in. Marriage, okay? So this is about commitment. It, you're focused on you wanting something solid, okay? That's what's um, on your mind. And this could be something that's coming in or this could be something that is surrounding you or there could be some information about a marriage um, coming in, okay? And then we have the family room, okay, at the bottom. This is where discussions take place, um, secrets and uh, different things like that. So, um, yeah, there uh, could be some conversations about marriage or about uh, commitment with the elf struck at the bottom. Like I said, it could be divine masculine. You could be sensing this or this could be on your mind. Okay, so now I'm going to see what's the energy representing you. These are the Gilded Tarot cards. Okay, I guess that's the one. <laughs> okay, you got Seven of Wands, which is kind of being on the defense. It could also mean overcoming obstacles. You got a lot of things coming at you. Um, so, yeah, this is your general energy, Seven of Wands. We'll see why it's here. I'm not going to look at the bottom yet because I may need to clarify these. And I like to look at the bottom once, you know, things are, everything has been put out. All right, so let's see why these energies are here. Why is initiate here? And we have eight of water. Okay, so this is eight of cups. So this is about like walking away, um, leaving stuff that, you know, just no longer serves you um, emotionally. So you could be initiating in the energy of walking away from something. Okay, it could be the divine masculine or just, you know, it could be a job. It could be people, friends. Um, it could be a marriage um, since that's uh, present. I think I said I was going to lay the cards down first, but I guess that's not what um, Spirit wants me to do. I'm going to just go ahead and keep going. <laughs> All right. So let's see why um, marriage card is here. And you have three of earth, okay? So three of earth is about... Um, teamwork uh, building something and um, you know working together it could involve people so you are um, either somebody is wanting to build something with you a commitment something solid or you them um, there could be also people involved in this situation where there's a, a team of people um, in a situation involving a marriage, okay? Let's see why the Seven of Wands is here for your energy. And we have the High Priestess. So um, this could be, um, for some of you, this is, you might be like, trying to block obstacles or when I say block you might be trying to overcome obstacles to follow your intuition um, so you're on the defense you may not be trusting in your intuition high priest is about intuition it's also about secrets so someone could be um, as well trying to um, over um, overcome obstacles to reveal secrets as well okay but I feel like this is, um, some of you, I feel like your intuition is blocked or you are um, not necessarily following your intuition. 
and that could just be for some of you not everyone okay so let's see what's going on in your outer world strength okay so this is about courage um, okay so now you have two eights this could also be um, a Leo involved but doesn't necessarily mean so um, there's two eights here which is the infinity symbol so it's possible this could be soulmate um, or twin flame connection we'll see but in the outer, uh, outer world you need to have strength for something okay and again I will clarify these cards in a, in a moment all right so let's see what's going on in your inner world five of water okay so this is about being sad um, you know emotional um, it can also represent apologies so I'm sensing that there is either for some of you there could be a, an apology coming in but I feel like for a lot of you if you're feeling sad okay like you're wanting to work on this um, this situation um, with the three of earth I feel like you're wanting to build something you're you're wanting something solid like you know solid relationship because you have this um, marriage card here so that's what you're wanting and that could be the reason why someone you or someone is walking away from something because they want to um, have something more solid okay so what's um, blocking or challenging you The emperor okay this is the divine masculine okay you could be dealing with an Aries um, this is um, about control okay so it's under the high priestess so I feel like maybe for some of you it is about um, taking control over your intuition needing to have um, control over it and just uh, following following it uh, for other for others I feel that you are overcoming obstacles you are following uh, your intuition and you are trying to get in control but this is a challenge getting get in control of the situation but this is challenging you um, again like I said this could be the divine masculine so we'll see hopefully you can see all these cards okay all right so what's coming in for you what's coming in for you it benefits this uh, connection hermit okay so you could be dealing with a Virgo um, the hermit is about taking a time out okay and um, it's also about withdrawing it's also about knowledge and um, spiritual um, wisdom so again I will clarify that in just a second so you've got like one two three four major arcanas out of um, seven cards so some major things going on with you today divine feminine okay so what are you manifesting or what have you manifested either or moon okay so you could be dealing with a Pisces again another major arcana um, I feel like this is about fear you've managed you've uh, manifested or are manifesting fear um, some of you it could be you're manifesting following your intuition because the moon can be about intuition as well and the high priestess is here um, is here as well okay so what we'll shifted love okay the love is the lover's card here could be dealing with the Gemini I just realized this is another major arcana oh my gosh okay so there's two lions actually there's three lions present so I feel 
that there is um, a Leo involved or you have a uh, Leo in your chart or a fire sign um, in, in your chart. Are you dealing with it, a uh, fire sign or Leo in particular? Um, this is the lover's card. This is about, um, you know, that ultimate love, that passionate relationship, um, feeling like no one, like no other. Also, this is like twin flame energy as well. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to say that's what shifted, but we're going to see what shifted. And then let's see what action are you going to take. magician okay so you're manifesting something okay again another major arcana oh my gosh that's like how many is here there's one two three four five six seven okay that could mean something too as well because seven is the number of luck so what could be on your side as well you have five in the middle representing change um so yeah there's a lot of um, relevant numbers here, okay? All right, so then let's see um, your, that overall energy, justice, okay? So you're wanting justice. You're wanting things to uh, be right. Also, this is number 11. Again, this is, um, I feel for sure, a soulmate connection. Could be a twin flame as well. Uh, justice is about balance. Could be dealing with a Libra. Um, you know, making things right. So you could be manifesting your own um, justice. Uh, that's kind of like what I'm uh, sensing as well. All right, let me see where. Um, let's clarify these cards. Sorry if that was loud. Let's clarify the eight of water. Why is the eight of water here? Under initiate. high priestess yeah so I feel like this what this is saying to me is that a lot of you are leaving certain things that just don't serve you this could be relationships people jobs etc uh, family members um, just anything and you're following your intuition okay so because the high priestess is here twice so I feel like the majority of you, majority of you are following your um, intuition, okay? And that's what you're doing. You're leaving whatever, you know, you just feel like, you know, your old ways of thinking, you're, you're open to new things, new ideas. And let's see why this three of earth is here under the marriage card. Four of Wands, okay? Yeah, so this is about foundation, um, working together. This is also the symbol um, of 1111, and you do have the Lover's card present, so I do feel like this is a Twin Flame um, reading. So you're wanting this, you want this uh, un reunion or a union with your Twin Flame um, because you have the Three of Earth, and you have the four of wands clarifying it and you have the marriage card so i feel like this is the energy that you're in this could also be the divine masculine's energy as well wanting to take this relationship to the next level but you're definitely wanting this you're wanting something um, that has a commitment even if it's not marriage but you want a serious relationship and that's your mindset that's what you're following your intuition for as well okay let's clarify the high priestess um king of pentacles so you could be dealing with an herb sign um you do have earth energy here capricorn virgo or taurus so uh some of some of you um could be knowing that you're going to have um stability because he's about stability 
um, financial security. Um, you could be focused on, um, this could be you, you could be focused on your, your work, your money, uh, overcoming obstacles, uh, possibly to maybe change career or job. Um, and then for some of you, like I said, this could be uh, the divine masculine. Um, the emperor is under it. So you could be following your intuition or he's following his intuition um, to overcome obstacles in this um, connection. And you might be sensing this, okay? You might know knowing that that's what's taking place. So in your outer world, clarify the strength. And you have death card, which is about transition, okay? Endings and also new beginnings. So I feel like in your outer world, um, with this being clarifying this, I feel like for some of you, you are feeling a little, a little worn and I feel like others of you are transitioning and finding this new power, okay, of strength and to uh, go forward towards what you want and um, this connection, okay, and I feel like you're just, the additional energy I'm feeling is just that you just don't have time for anything that is not going to be strong like this this lion lion um you want something that's strength you know that's strong you know ready to like how he's roaring in this um you are in that energy is like you you're you're changing you're, you're leaving behind um things like this okay because it's under there as well so there's a, definitely a transition taking place. I feel like it has a lot to do with your intuition. A lot. Because there's a lot of intuition um, energy here. Okay, so in your inner world, clarifying the five of water, five of cups, um, six of wands. Yeah, so I feel like um, you're putting on uh, a front in the public. Because this is about like um, public recognition. This is about um, going forward, victory as well. But it's clarifying the Five of Cups. So I feel like on the outside, you're kind of like uh, showing that, or you're victorious and you're you're going through this process, and you're not showing other people that you are really sad inside. Okay, you're you're really sad inside. And then I feel like for some of you, this is about an apology um, as well that is uh, going to come through to your inner world from someone. Could be your divine masculine or somebody you know. Um, an, an apology, some type of recognition. Okay. Let's move these over. Okay, let's clarify the emperor. Where blockage is challenges. The Empress. <laughs> so you have the Empress and the Emperor in the same reading. So I really feel like even more so now this is a twin flame reading. is a twin flame connection. So I feel like the challenge is for you is to step into your power okay knowing that you have this power you are even though the emperor is um the ruler of the universe you rule right alongside of him and you you rule uh, also with more care and more emotion just because of your motherly um, instincts and your fertility um this could be um as some of you, it could be like a mother involved in the situation or someone that has children. But I feel like the challenge is just um, stepping into your power, knowing that you are really in control more so than you um, realize. Okay, so what's coming in? Clarifying the Hermit.
uh, five of pentacles okay so this is um clarifying this so this is and there's two fives here so again there's big changes um, a lot of major arcana cards in this reading there this is going to be a withdrawal from hard times so this is from feeling out in the cold so that's going to change you're not going to be going through hard times you're going to be <laughs> i always try to figure out the best way to say it. i'm just saying coming from outside of the cold coming in getting warm okay so you're this is you are withdrawing from being left out in the cold so this could have to do with the divine masculine um or this could be just yourself um just realize you're not going to feel like you're being left out in the cold uh, some of you um, since this is earth energy could have gone through some type of hardship financially and that is changing your financial situation is changing okay so let's clarify what's um you manifested or was manifested or find the moon and you have a three of cups so there could be a third party um, involved here not necessarily mean so it could be a person or you know work anything that is like kind of coming in between this connection so you kind of um, I feel like for some of you some of you that um, are having some sadness have kind of manifested fear that this reunion is not going to happen, that there's still a third party involved. And then for others, I feel like you are manifesting following your intuition that there is a celebration coming, there is a reunion happening um, because all the energy is here for a reunion. You have the Three of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Lovers, the Empress, the Emperor, High Priestess, the Death card. I mean, it, the magician justice this is definitely yeah this is coming um this energy is surrounding you so this is something that is going to be happening um most likely sooner than later um we do have a new moon coming in on the 31st there could be some changes happening with this new moon this reunion could happen with the moon um yeah that's what i'm uh, picking up here Okay. so you have like threes here as well which is about prayers being answered um yeah so there's a lot of good things coming in here all right see let's, let's shift it let's clarify the love card which is the lovers uh eight of swords this is about being trapped in fear but it's of not of it's not based on reality it's your your own fears okay so again for some of you that are feeling sad and not necessarily following your intuition um your um what shifted is your fear over um your soulmate or twin flame whether that this is going to happen and i feel like for most of you though this is about um your, your fear shifting in a positive way that you know that this is happen, happening because there is, like I said, a lot of energy of following your intuition. You're like mastering your fear um, with their connection because of your your love for your twin flame or your soulmate. You, you knowing what you need to do to make this happen. So let's clarify the magician card for the action. justice okay so justice is definitely happened justice is here twice and that's 11 11 <laughs> this is really a, a soulmate connection so you have the 11 11 right here and you have 11 11 here with the four of wands okay and that's what's being manifested that's the that's the action you're you're manifesting like you're in control right now your energy um I feel like the majority of you are stepping into your power like it's a challenge but you're doing it that's why it's being manifested you're manifesting justice for this connection okay some of you may be feeling of walking away but I feel like the the from the connection but I feel the majority of you are knowing what's going on like you're trusting in the process and the bottom overall 
Knight of Pentacles. Again, Earth Energy. This is about something coming of value. This could be about money coming in, uh, you know, slowly. This could also be about an offer coming in from the King of Pentacles because he is here present. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's that's here on the bottom with Justice. So the King of, Knight, the King of Pentacles um, could be slowly moving here towards Justice. And look right under this Knight of um, Pentacles was the Ace of Wands. Okay, which is about a brand new beginning, passion, everything. And uh, you, right in the vicinity of the Lover's card, which is all about passion. So, okay, that's going to be your reading, you guys. Um, I hope that resonated with you. If it did, um, please like, comment, share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer um, personal readings. So um, if you're interested, the information is below. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you very much. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.